Good morning, morning, Auburn Alliance Alliance Church. Church! We hope you had a great Christmas. As we mentioned before, the Christmas season is huge in the Philippines. Well, we celebrated Christmas Eve on Sunday morning at my home church, Faith Alliance Fellowship in Davao City. It was so good to be back and seeing everyone. And, and not only that, but my sister and I also joined the worship team and I was given the opportunity to preach. So, um, oh, also we gave away gifts to the sponsored kids who are in that youth group. But what does it say in John 3, 16? For God, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus was not born for the perfect. He was born for the perishing. <laughs> We spent a lot of time with the Father's House Orphanage kids this week. We went Christmas caroling with them and even took them Christmas shopping to get gifts for each other since it's Santa style. Yeah, we treat them like our brothers and sisters. And we took that big family of us, of 16 of us, to the jungle areas in the mountains where my mom's tribe is from, the Bogobo tribe. And there we had our annual family reunion. We had lots of fun and my mom's side of the family could finally meet Brianna for the first time. They asked me to give a message, so I did what any good pastor would do. I recycled the same message from Sunday morning. <laughs> And of course, we gave out lots of gifts. God and humankind, previously incompatible, now eternally linked in the person of Jesus Christ. How amazing it is to have a God who understands us. The following day, we went to Samo Island where the Father's house is, and we had a Christmas celebration through the orphans there. We had a huge meal, and PJ read the Christmas story. It was fun to watch the kids exchange gifts and see the excitement on their faces as they opened the gifts from their secret Santa. I got socks! And was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. And the next morning we had to quickly get back to the mainland because every December all the youth groups from all the Alliance churches in this area meet up at what we call a youth camp. Think of it like winter camp at Delta Lake but instead of snow we get lots of rain. So we supported the Father's House boys in a basketball game, it was awesome. But the best part? Our worship team from Faith Alliance Fellowship all of whom were once youth group members and sponsored kids from BCA, they led the opening night praise and worship. And there were over a thousand people there. I was so proud of them. We grew up together, like we were kids together. So it was awesome. And I was asked to give the opening and closing prayers and I was just overwhelmed with how amazing our God is. Let us pray. 
close our eyes. We're in the presence of the Lord today. Father God, you are awesome. God at work this week and this whole year. We just came from a wedding of the second ever sponsored kid. Now he's all grown up and happily married and there have been over 4,000 sponsored kids since then. It's been a blessing to be involved again with the church with the school and the orphanage for their Christmas festivities. But now, no, tomorrow, is the start of the new year. And we've got a lot of things planned for this next week. We've got some short-term missionaries coming over from Utah. We're going to be doing some construction work at the orphanage. We'll be giving out uh, more stuffed animals and gifts at the daughter churches in Samal Island. And there's another one more. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're getting, we're getting married, married again. <laughs> so we hope you're doing well. We miss you all. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year from, from the Philippines. Philippines. Bye. Bye.